Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about acne prone skin care. Now, uh, this isn't like a skincare routine video. I was going to do an updated skincare routine video separate from this, but I specifically wanted to talk to you guys about how to care for acne prone skin. I have acne prone skin. I have the acne prone skin that acts up around your time of the month. It acts up if I eat the wrong thing too much. It acts up if it's just too darn hot outside and I'm sweating like there is no tomorrow. It acts up if I'm really, really stressed. So basically all the time. <laughs> Um, you know, you name it, my acne flares up, and it could be the, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but I got, like, tons of, like, under-the-skin bumps going on right now, or it can be the, you know, one massive pimple here and there going on, or it can be the strawberry patch forehead. Um, I have had it all, I feel like, when it comes to acne, um, and so over the years, I have really tested these things that are supposed to help acne prone skin. And so I just wanted to show you three big things that really help when it comes to fighting acne when it comes on. Because obviously I work to prevent it in my daily skincare routine, but sometimes that just doesn't cut it. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to prevent it, but how to work with it when you get it anyway. Because let's face it, it happens anyway. There goes my pillow. <laughs> He's better. Okay. <laughs> Two major things um, when it comes to preventing. And one is drink lots of water. Now I know you hear it all the time, you know, beauty starts from the inside out and you gotta drink tons of water. I have luckily been the kind of person that I hate coffee, I hate soda. Like you will never ever ever see me drinking any form of those at all just because I hate the taste of them. Um, so I just got lucky where I don't like them. Um, but I'll have a hot chocolate or I'll have a vanilla chai tea or I'll have chocolate milk, I'll have a Kool-Aid, I'll, you know, I still like the sugary drinks. And obviously the sh the more sugar you have, the more prone, you know, your skin is to breaking out. Um, and that's just not so good. Plus water is going to flush out your pores and it's just so good because when your body is like 75% water, think about it. I mean, it's pretty important to drink lots of water. Um, so if you have to flavor it with healthy alternatives, you know, fruit or whatever, do what you need to do, but drink lots of water. The second big thing that I don't know everyone follows, this is kind of the more difficult part, is use only clean makeup brushes on your face. And I know that's really hard, I've been guilty of it too, where you're just lazy and you don't want to spot clean your brushes every day. So you go the next day, you apply your makeup, but you're using dirty brushes. Think about it. Your foundation was sitting on that brush all day and all night and starting to grow bacteria and nasty kind of stuff, and now you're reapplying that on your face. You're applying old makeup on your face, you're applying the bacteria that growed on your face on top of new foundation. I mean, it's just whoosh! It's like a, a bacteria growing fest here. Like, it's disgusting if you really think about it. So, spot clean your brushes every single day. I know that's hard, trust me. I'm guilty of not doing it too. I'm not perfect when it comes to that either. Um, Encore Makeup, I've used his spot cleaning method for years and it's amazing. It's an easy formula to make with like palm olive and water and something else, and um, I can link that below, but it's the easiest way and the cheapest way to spot clean your brushes, so do that every single day, and deep clean your brushes with simple just Johnson's Baby Shampoo every single week. Um, so weekly you want to deep clean, daily you want to spot clean. So that's majorly important because you're just transferring bacteria and clogging your pores if you don't clean your brushes. Um, enough. So besides those and other obvious things to preventing acne, like having a skincare routine that works for your skin type and, you know, getting enough sleep, all that stupid stuff, um, I have things that are going to help when it comes on. So the first thing is toothpaste. Just toothpaste. Ordinary toothpaste that you already have in your house. Now currently I'm using this Tom's of Maine Simply White um, toothpaste, and I will say that you need white opaque toothpaste like this okay because I also have like crest toothpaste that has the beads in it that won't work the same you want white opaque toothpaste and you're just gonna dab that on your 
your zit and leave it there for like 15 minutes or however many minutes really that you want to. Um, and it, it acts as a mask, like a spot treatment. And it's very cooling, you know, when you rinse it off, it's going to feel very cool for a little bit. But this stuff works in a pinch. And it's a cheap alternative to spot cleaners. Spot cleaners? It's a cheap alternative to spot treatments. That's what I meant. And, um... You know, it's something you already have. So I've used this, I've used Colgate, I've used Crest. Just make sure it's an opaque white toothpaste. Second thing is a full face mask. Now this is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This is my favorite mask of all time. Over the years, I have tried all those Freeman's face masks, and I love those too. But when it comes to really combating my acne, specifically, and, um making my pores smaller and tighter, and just making my skin feel like it's refreshed and tightened and smooth, this is my go-to mask. I mean, you can get this at Walgreens is where I find it the most often. Um, but I'm sure you could get it at other drugstores, Walmart, Target. You know, it's a few bucks. It lasts a good amount of time. I use this once to twice a week. You don't want to use it more than twice a week or else your skin will get too dried out. Um, I usually do it just once a week and it's kind of just like a, a spa treatment night, and this stuff works. I mean, not only does it, you know, make your skin in general feel and look so much better, but, I mean, ugh, I don't know. It just works with it drying on your skin, and then you rinse it off in the hot shower. It really, it, I mean, it makes those acne scars and the, the pimples just seem so much less apparent right away, which is cool. The last thing that I have more recently started using and I've been really loving is the Timeless Prescription Age Defying Skin Care Anti-Blemish Lotion. Now, you might notice that it um, has like the pink kind of, you know, sandy, lotion-y kind of stuff at the bottom and then there's tons of clear fluid. Now, it purposely says on the back, do not shake. I made that mistake the first couple times. You have to read these things. I mean, I'm one of those ignorant people who doesn't read the directions and tries putting something together. Um, but do not shake, because the magic of this is you open the bottle, you get a Q-tip, and you just go down and back up. And it gets, like, the right amount of this pink, kind of sandy mixture, and then it, you know rinses some off. I can't describe it, but the way it works, it works, and then you, you know, you apply it as a spot treatment, and this is the kind that you can wear overnight. It'll dry enough, whereas the toothpaste doesn't dry, so y you gotta be awake and then rinse it off, whereas this dries completely. It's a good overnight treatment. You wake up in the morning, that pimple is gonna be basically non-existent. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. If you got all night, um, this stuff... It's amazing. I mean, it may leave you a little crusty feeling, a little too dry at times, but if you put just the right amount, I mean, it'll zap that zit like there's no tomorrow. So, definitely, I recommend trying this. I'll link it below. Amazing, amazing stuff. And it lasts a decent amount of time. I mean, all you need is a little bit on your Q-tip, and you're good to go. So those are my tips and tricks to preventing and to treating acne as it comes on. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. I really, I do hope that I'm helping some of you guys with the acne prone skin out there. I know how embarrassing it can be. Um, you know, I've been there for years and years. I mean, and I'm almost 21, so it's definitely not just puberty anymore. It's just that's the way I am. And that's fine. But, um, you know, Obviously, we want to help that as much as we can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.